How many times have you heard people refer to a line, a segment, or a ray, and it seems like they're referring to the same exact thing? Well, the reason it seems like they're referring to the same thing is because there's subtle differences between all three of these things. And that's what I plan to go over in this video. So first, let's talk about a line. So a line is infinitely many points. It has no thickness, it has no width. The only reason you see a thickness here when I draw it is because I have to be able to represent it in some ways so that you can actually visualize it. But really and truly, it's just infinitely many points going that way and going that way. So naming our lines is a very important thing. We can't just, you know, call it Jack or Drew or whatever. We have to actually give it a proper name. So how do we name our line? I can name my line with an italicized lowercase letter. So for example, I can name it L, but I could name it any lowercase letter, M, P, Q, whatever. Um, so, but it has to be lowercase if I'm choosing only one letter. I could also name my line with two letters, but the two letters have to refer specifically to two points that are on our line. So let's say we have a P here and we have a Q here. Those two points are on our line. So we can call it line PQ. However, if I'm not going to put anything, any symbol on the, those P, the PQ, the P and the Q, I want to make sure to say that it's a line. All right, or I could name it PQ and put a little line over it. And now what makes this a line? Yes, it extends infinitely in both directions. So I put a little line symbol over it that shows me that it extends in both directions and that should tell whoever's reading your work that you are referring to a line which goes through P and Q. All right, so that's it for a line. Let's go the whole other direction and look at a line segment. So a line segment, very much like a line, you know, straight, <laughs> but it has two end points. So let's say we have A as one end point and B as the other end point. So unlike a line which goes in both directions infinitely, this segment stops at A and also stops at B. It has two endpoints. So let's make sure we know it's a segment. All right, so how do we name our segment? Well, we name our segment in a similar way, but so we can call it AB. But instead of putting a line on top of AB, we're actually just going to put a segment on top of AB. It has to end. It has to have endpoints. So here we're referring to segment AB. Now it can go both ways, you know, it has two endpoints, not just one. So we can actually call it BA. Doesn't matter if we're reading it from left to right or right to left. So it's actually AB or BA, but it's super important when referring to a segment to just put a segment on top of the AB or whatever capital letters you're dealing with. All right, now for array. It's like the best of both worlds. You combine the two, and with their powers combined, you get array. All right, so what is array? It has one end point, and it extends infinitely in the other direction. So let's say we call this point O, and let's say there's some other point anywhere on the ray called N. So array is a line that goes from the end point through other points, including n in this case. And how do we name array? Well, array is named with the end point first, and then any other point, but we can't just leave it like that, because you would assume then that it is a line. But if we put that on top of it, and now we know for sure that it's a ray. We just put a little teeny tiny ray on top of our letters. All right, we could not, so I'll put the X from here, we could not write an O. That's kind of funny that the word no came up there. But we could not write an O because our segment, or sorry, our ray, haha, our ray is going from here infinitely in that direction. It's not going from n infinitely in that direction. So we have to go from the end point O and name it O n in that direction. All right, so that pretty much covers it with the differences between a line, a line segment, and a ray.
There is just one more thing I wanted to quickly talk to you about or bring to your attention. Um, there's only one of these things that can be measured. So if you think about it, which of these things could be measured? Well, if you're saying that the segment is the one that could be mentioned, you are correct because it has two endpoints. All right, so if we were to measure a line segment, how would we how would we call the measurement? Like, what would we call the measurement of a line segment? Well, we could say the measurement or the length oh, of AB, which, you know, makes sense. However, if you wanted to shortcut it, you could also refer to the measure. I'm not sure why I spelled it that way. You could also refer to the measure of AB as simply... A, B. Now, does that look familiar to you? It should. Remember that we could have called a line, line PQ, and we can call the measure of a segment A, B, or PQ, or any two capital letters. So it's very important to be careful and really look at the context of what you're working with and to know what you're dealing with to, to know, all right, in this question they're talking about line PQ, versus in this question they're asking about the measure of segment AB. So it's important to know what you're doing in, in context and then you'll be able to, you know, write to the right thing, if that makes sense. Alright, that's it for now.